Hello and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am Peter Jaworski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in this third video tutorial of our 10-part video tutorial series on an introduction to PHP, I'm going to walk you through uh, arithmetic operators. So there's a few things that we have to cover off. Um, but before we do that, I've got a big favor to ask. If this video tutorial helps you, please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know. I uh, always appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And those are just a few ways that you can help give back to me uh, because YouTube looks at those types of engagement uh, and will help kind of promote my video tutorials uh, and get those out to other people who could be looking for similar solutions. So uh, that said, you'll just see here I'm a small plug for TorontoWebsiteDeveloper.com. If you haven't visited my website, please do so. I uh, appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Obviously, uh, I need to do a lot of work on it. Now, let's go back over to our local host. You'll see that I've got tutorial3.php here. I'm just going to reload the page because I was working on a few things. Um, we'll go over to our script here. You'll see tutorial3. And I've gone ahead and I've kind of worked through a few things because I want to get uh, ahead of stuff before, um, you know, so we're not walking through because a lot of the stuff is going to be basic and it's going to be in tutorial4 that we're going to start covering off some more advanced topics. Uh, you know, and kick it into a new gear, and that's going to be looking at conditional statements uh, and then followed by loops and all that kind of stuff. But this is our final stop and some of the more basic stuff before we get over there. One of the things I forgot to mention in the third video or the second video tutorial on variables was how to define a constant. So a constant is a variable that can't change. So if you know you have something uh, that's never going to change in your program, you can define it as a constant variable, and then you don't have to type your dollar sign and that uh, variable name should be in all caps. So you'll see here, the way to do this is you use the keyword in PHP, define, and then you're gonna have a set of brackets. And the brackets are gonna have two parameters. The first one is gonna be what you're gonna call that variable. And this has to follow all uh, variable naming conventions that we talked about in the second video tutorial. That is, has to start with a letter or an underscore. Um, typically, just start it with uh, a letter. That's kind of the convention. Um, and then the second value that you're going to provide is what uh, that variable is going to actually uh, contain, right? What its value is going to be. So you'll see here I'm defining a constant x and its value is 5. You'll see I'm defining y, its value is 10. And then I'm defining br and I'm passing in our, our HTML br tag, which is going to create line breaks for me. So that's how we define constants. And then to actually use them, we just type them out. And they're always in capitals and you see we don't include the dollar sign. So let's walk into some of the arithmetic operators. These are exactly what you're going to expect. It's you know your typical stuff, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You can use remain, uh, remainders. Um, and it follows bed mass, right? So you know your brackets, ex exponents, uh, division, multiplication, uh, addition, subtraction, right? So here what I'm doing is I'm just putting uh, print, which should be familiar to you because we've done it in the previous two video tutorials, uh, a string addition, right, with a space. And then I'm adding, uh, uh, concatenating a string, uh, and then adding uh, x plus y together and, and spreading that all out together. You notice this is in brackets. Um, we'll come back to that as to why that is, because down below we're not in brackets. But you'll, you'll just see here I've got addition, I've got subtraction, x minus y, I've got multiplication, x times y, division, uh, y divided by x, and then remainder, right? Uh, and this one's a little bit different because I've got these brackets y plus 1, so that I've got 11, and then I'm asking for a remainder of uh, 11 divided by 5, and you do that by the percent sign, so that's what that is there. So let's go ahead and we'll save this. I'll go back over to my script here, and I'm just going to reload this page, and you'll see some things disappeared because I was testing out some things before as I was walking through this video tutorial prior to recording it. So addition, just as we expect, 15, subtraction, 5 minus 10 is minus 5, multiplication, 5 times 10 is 50, division, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and then remainder, right? Remember we had 11 added 1, or sorry, we had 10 added 1, which became 11, divided by 5, our remainder is 1. So that's what's happening there. Uh, this is all pretty straightforward. Again, if you have any questions about this, just leave a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you, but uh, I think it should be pretty basic. That's why I've gone through it so fast. Some of the cooler things that I want to show you are these assignment operators and incrementing. So Let's introduce a third variable, and we're going to call that variable z. And I'm going to uh, make it equal to 0. And so what I want to do is I want to print out z so that it's equal to z plus y, right? You'll see that quite a bit. So uh, what I would do is z is equal to z plus, plus y, right? And then I would go print, um, let's call this, uh, you know, plus equals, oops, 
we'll concatenate that uh, and then we'll just you know print out z right and then i'm going to print my br before i forget that save that go back over to my browser reload this page and you'll see i've got equal to 10 right but one of the short forms in php to doing that is rather than this z is equal to z plus y what you can do is go plus equals and then just add y so we'll save that we reload this you'll see it doesn't change i still get 10. so this is a short form in php the reason why i show you this is because you know, saving those little bits here and there, um, you know, is ultimately time saving. But if you're working on open source stuff like Drupal for what this is for, uh, you'll see this quite a bit plus equals. Uh, and that's what it means, right? It's just a, a small shortcut. And that's why it's saving it. The uh, minus equals equals uh, works the exact same way. So I'm just going to um, redefine Z as Z is equal to zero. I'm going to go minus equals Y. I'm going to make this a minus equals. And so what we expect here is a minus 10. I'm gonna go back here, reload my page, minus equals minus 10, right? So that's how you use those. Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully it's not too uh, confusing. If you have any questions, post them, I'll get back to you. Incrementing. So what I'd like to do here is sometimes when you're working with loops, you'll see that as you go through the loop, and if you don't know what a loop uh, what I'm referring to in PHP is a loop. Uh, don't worry, you'll get it when I do this example. But sometimes as we loop through things, we want to increment them. So we want to know how many times we've done something, right? And we do that by, you know, x or z is equal to z plus 1. Um, so here, what I would do is z uh, is equal to 0. And then my next line would be, you know, z is equal to z plus 1, right? And then I would go print. Let's go uh, increment plus plus, add my uh, colon there, and go Z, and we'll print that, and actually print BR, save that, go back over here, reload it, um, you'll see plus plus is equal to one, right, because I've added one. Um, but what actually, uh, a nice short form for this is, let's just go with a plus plus, right, Z plus plus. And so if I reload my page now, you'll see it doesn't change, um, and that's because it's the exact same thing. So rather than typing out Z is equal to Z plus one, you just go Z plus plus and it increments it right away. Again, minus minus is the exact same thing. So we're just going to copy this, paste it here. We'll go Z minus minus, and we're just going to go so decrease save that and we expect this to be uh, minus one so if we reload that minus one obviously now we did z minus minus and it printed out exactly what we thought it was minus one right but what's actually happening is this is taking the value and then it is subtracting the value after that's uh, happening so we can actually subtract the value and then print out the value uh, and I know this might be a little bit confusing. So what I'm going to do to actually show you what I'm talking about here is rather than doing the plus plus here, what I'm going to do is Z plus plus, and then I'm going to do Z minus minus so that the operation actually happens during the print, right? So I'm printing this out as this is happening. So let's see what actually occurs here. If I reload this, they're both zero, right? Um, but we've gone ahead and we've actually done this incrementing. So why would they be zero? It doesn't make any sense, right? We have zero. Um, and the reason for that is because the operation, the plus plus is actually happening after it's evaluating Z, right? So here I'll just print Z for you and you'll see what I mean. If I reload this, you'll see it's actually one, right? So it's, it's done the addition after it's actually evaluated the variable, right? So, you can change this, you can do this differently. So if we copy this and I go minus minus first, it's going to evaluate Z and then it's going to return Z. So if I reload this, you'll see I get the minus one that I expect. And that's because it's done the evaluation, it's returning that and then it's acting on it, right? And it's the same thing for plus plus Z. So just copy this, let's go increase. If I do plus plus here, save this, reload it, you'll see that I get one. Now this, if you're brand new to this, this is probably going to be very confusing, um, but don't worry about it. Um, this isn't something that, you know, is going to really throw you for a loop or 
something that you have to use. You can you don't have to use this. You can always do the Z is equal to Z plus one. Um, but just remember, if you do use this or you see this, this is what's actually happening, right? So if they're after the variable, the variable is being evaluated and then it's being added to. If it's before, you're going to get that, uh, the, op the operation and then get the actual variable value. So that's it for this video tutorial. Um, you know, I tried to keep it under 10 minutes, but I think I went just over. So again, if this video tutorial helped you, please let me know with a thumbs up or comment. Next video tutorial, we'll be looking at conditional statements. So hopefully we'll see you for that. Uh, and until next time, thanks very much for watching.